The Great Lakes Aquarium opened in 2000 and is located on the Duluth waterfront. A 501 private nonprofit, its mission is to inspire people to explore their connection to Lake Superior and waters of the world. Great Lakes Aquarium features animals and habitats found within the Great Lakes Basin and other freshwater ecosystems such as the Amazon River. The aquarium houses 205 different species of fish, birds, reptiles, amphibians and mammals. It is one of few aquariums in the United States that focuses predominantly on freshwater exhibits. Many of the main exhibits at 62,000 square foot 5,800 square meters Great Lakes Aquarium GLA are based upon actual habitats in the Lake Superior Basin. Slices of the St. Louis River, Baptism River, Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, Cacagon Slough, Isle Royale and Otter Cove can all be viewed up close. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Permanent fixtures. Isle Royale The 85,000 U.S. gallon Isle Royale is the main exhibit located in the very center of the building, and it extends to both the first and second floors allowing visitors to view it from many different angles. It contains trout and lake sturgeon. Baptism River. Baptism River is a fast-moving exhibit featuring a waterfall. It contains Kamloops and Siskowit. Topic: <laughs> St. Louis River. The St. Louis River exhibit is a slow-moving river habitat with perch, walleye, sturgeon, channel catfish, and other native species. Topic. Pictured rocks, Cacagon Slough Pictured rocks and Cacagon Slough are inside of a netted area and feature sandstone cliffs, a heron, and native turtles. Topic. Otter Cove Otter Cove is an exhibit featuring two North American river otters, agate and oar. The female otters, believed to be sisters, arrived at the aquarium in early 2014. They were captured in live traps near a crayfish farm in Louisiana when they were not yet two years old. Great Lakes Aquarium acquired agate and ore through a special program to relocate otters that might otherwise have been exterminated as nuisance animals. Otter Cove was designed after a cove in Pukasqua National Park in Ontario. Directly to the left is an exhibit containing a crow named Freeway. <laughs> Amazing Amazon Amazing Amazon opened in the summer of 2008. It features freshwater creatures from the largest river in the world. This includes PACU, arowana, piranha, catfish, electric eels, discus. Unsalted seas Opened in 2016, Unsalted Seas explores large lakes of the world and the animals that call them home. The exhibit features the largest sturgeon touch tank in North America with a primary focus on sturgeon from Russian and North Asian waters. Several species of those sturgeon including beluga, sevruga, sterlet and osatra came from sturgeon aquifarms in Florida. Other permanent exhibits 19 satellite tanks are at various locations and contain animals such as fish, frogs, salamanders and snakes. There is also a wide variety of interactive electronic exhibits located throughout the museum. Great Lakes Aquarium also features a local history center, a science center and cultural exhibits. Topic. Rotating exhibits 
In May 2010, Great Lakes Aquarium opened its current rotating exhibit, Masters of Disguise, in the Sandra and Roger Caron Exhibit Hall. This intriguing attraction explores camouflage, coloring, mimicry and other visual tricks and behaviors that help sea creatures and land animals hide in plain sight. Shape-shifting fish, plant-like insects and color-changing reptiles are among the many new creatures featured. Prior rotating exhibits include The Abyss, The Great Unknown, which ended in 2010, Africa's Lake Victoria, which ended in 2003 and Hunters of the Sky, which ended in September 2001. The next exhibit was scheduled to open in July 2014. Titled, Shipwrecks Alive, it will feature how sea life makes their home in shipwrecks. It will profile the wreck of the SS America which wrecked in 1918 near Isle Royale. <laughs> Architecture. Holt Hinshaw had the original vision and Hamill, Green and Abrahamson, Inc. HGA made it a reality. Construction took 3.5 years and cost around $34 million. An office area at the rear of the first floor has been cleared out to host conferences, birthday parties and other pre-arranged events. There are great harbor views from this area and other parts of the museum. When visitors enter the museum, they are encouraged to ride the escalator to the upper level first through sensory immersion experience and continue on to the lower level later. <laughs> main floor The main floor contains the following features Shipwrecks Alive. Rotating Exhibit Gift Shop Otter Cove American Crow Great Lakes Water Table Isle Royale Wow of Water Amazing Amazon Boardroom Behind the Scenes Unsalted Seas Topic. Upper Level Origins Human Migration Touch Tanks Harbour View Baptism River Isle Royale St. Louis River Uplands Weather Station Pictured Rocks Kakagon Slough Classrooms Topic. Basement The basement of this building is closed to the public. It contains offices and storage, as well as an animal care area and pumps for the aquarium. Topic. History Great Lakes Aquarium opened its doors on July 29, 2000. It was built on land donated by Duluth philanthropists Julia and Caroline Marshall with a combination of state and local funds as well more than $6 million in private donations. While well attended in those opening months, construction delays resulted in a loss of around 30% of anticipated revenues that year. In 2002, Mayor Gary Doty appointed a task force to improve the facility's long-term viability. Later that year the city took over managerial control of the aquarium and briefly closed it. In May 2003, management of Great Lakes Aquarium was turned over to Ripley's Entertainment, Leisure Entertainment Corporation, best known for its Believe It or Not museums. The company eliminated two-thirds of aquarium staff and cut costs, bringing it back from the immediate threat of permanent closure. Under successive declining years of attendance, Ripley's ended its relationship with the aquarium in 2007. At that time, the board of directors decided to return management of the facility back to local control and recruited Jack Lavoie to serve as executive director. Since 2008, a philosophy of continuous improvement has been adopted starting with a program called The Three R's. Repair, replace or remove all defective exhibits from the exhibit floor. Plans for new exhibit galleries and expanded educational outreach are ongoing. 
GLA is a not-for-profit 501 organization. Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>